Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to fix Resident Evil 5 for Steam. If you're having an issue with the games for Windows Live or your game is just not booting up like this, you go ahead and push play. It attempts to boot, says it's running, and then it immediately shuts down. I'm going to show you how to fix this. Okay, the first thing we're going to want to make sure that we do is we have a fresh install of Resident Evil 5. So make sure you've freshly installed the game if you've tampered with it or anything like that. Uh, if you cannot re-download it due to data cap issues, go ahead and right click on the title, click properties, go over to local files, click verify integrity of game files. What this is going to do is Steam is going to check your game and download only the files that you need and take out the files that have been added in with any tampering you've done things like that this will save you some data and should be a quicker fix the second step we're going to want to do is make sure that windows 10 is up to date so go ahead into the search bar down in the bottom left here type in check for updates go ahead and click that click check for updates in this menu here your computer is going to check for any updates that it needs if you need any updates make sure you update your computer and then restart it next you're going to want to download winrar the link will be in the description once you get to WinRAR, go ahead and download it. This is going to be a program we're going to use that's going to allow us to open the file that contains the fix. Okay, now that we have WinRAR downloaded, we're going to download the fix. I'll put the link to the fix in the description below. Once you get onto this page, you're going to want to click download this file. Once the file has finished downloading, you're going to want to open it with WinRAR. Now there's two files in here that we are going to need to get the game to work. It's Games for Windows Live Client and Games for Windows Live Setup. So go ahead and install both of them. Click I accept and install. Go ahead and download it. Once this first one finishes downloading the client, go ahead and download the live setup. So the client's done. We're downloading the setup now. Once the setup has finished downloading, go ahead and click close. Go over to your Steam and click play. And your game should be running now. It might take a couple minutes to sign you in, so just be patient and give it a few minutes. But other than that, you're good to go. And just a little editor's note here, if you're having issues after downloading these two things from the fix and your game is still not booting up, try using this last one here, clicking remove, going through with the steps, finishing it, and then doing it again. And when you do it again after removing it, you will actually get prompted to install something. And once you finish installing this third thing, Go ahead and try and boot up your game then. Just a little editor's note. Shout out to Spicy Game Thunder on Steam for this guide. I will put the link to his Steam profile in the description below. Go ahead and shoot him a message and say thank you because if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be able to play this game because he made such an awesome guy on the Steam forums. I hope this helped you guys out. And if it did, please drop a like and a subscription would be appreciated. Thank you very much and have a nice day.